Friday and into the playoffs. And now we're going to be hopping over to Group B, where we have our lower bracket final of the group, where it is Digital Chaos versus Infamous in a new best of three and another position where one will move Ten on into the playoffs remaining. to face Team NP and another Five team, well, their remaining. summit journey will conclude. I'm Dakota, representing uh, BTS here, hanging out in Los Angeles at the offices, and I'm going to be joined remotely DC all the way across the globe in a awesome little place called Croatia. We got the one and only illustrious Lacoste. Hello, friend. Yeah, uh, hello, my friend. Thank you for this uh, kind hello, of kind introduction. Yes. Uh, well, this is what I expected. Uh, I checked the game uh, today. Uh, I only had time to check one game actually. Uh, DC against Five Infamous, uh, and I was expecting uh, DC to actually ban Troll Warlord because nice. they lost both games to to them. Dire They've team. lost two games to Infamous Troll Warlord, or to yes. just Troll Warlord to Infamous Troll Warlord. In infamous Troll Warlord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that was two zero. Fair enough. So obviously that has scarred them enough to warrant the ban in the first phase. Ten I love this pickup. Remain. I don't think we've seen it yet this week, Lacoste. A Magnus will Five finally be able remain. to be good, played here. Good. I love good. RPs. A, yeah, so I I'm love excited. RPs. I love black holes. I DC's love uh, turn Pudge. <laughs> We don't get enough Pudge, unfortunately, but at least we'll yeah. get a good taste of some awesome team fight here. And Infamous are already going to be pairing it together nicely with a Life Stealer. Though DC have Ten supplemented a bit. They got the Axe, which is nice. It will be a good way to kind of lock down that Five Life Stealer, even remaining. through the Rage. Uh, yes. Uh, one Reserve thing, uh, we're going to have a hard time with names this game. Yeah, I... Uh, team, team Anime against Team... Uh, Fan, fan gaze. I don't know what what is that. I don't know, uh, guys. Again, like here, I can Dad read the actual team. rosters so everyone knows who's up to date. We of course know the latest edition of Digital Chaos features the one and only Mason, Abed, Forev, Bulba, and Dubu. Uh, Bulba is currently under the name Ten Taiga Kagami. Remain. And Mason <laughs> under Fuji Shuksuki, apparently. And then on Infamous, which is even harder to figure out, with the exception of, you know, my boys here, Ben Jazz, who is just repping good old Ben Jazz as he should, and Sword, who is Sword. Now we have some other imposters here, Paparazzi <laughs> Jr., Sonico Jr., and Lanham Jr. DC's One of them being Tomato, another being Matthew, and finally Excel. So I'm sorry if I say their names wrong, but... They wanted these names. I'll probably call them that. I'll probably call them by the hero name. Uh, but, oh well. What can you do? Ten seconds remaining. That is correct. Uh, Terror Blade banned out uh, for Infamous. Um, this is pretty deadly when you have Fatal Bonds, Warlock, Terror Blade combo. Reserve time. Also, early pickup uh, of Axe. That's not what we see quite often. Usually, teams get it when there's a Dazzling enemy team. Uh, I mean, I don't think they would have banned the axe in the second phase, do you? I don't think there's anything about picking up a mag life slot that says, oh, let's watch out for that axe. I mean, it's good uh, counter-initiation against mag once he gets his RP. You just go in because everyone is uh, trying to focus on, on the RP place. Uh, but I, I, I don't see anything uh, like super good with axe. Uh, well, we finally get to see a Monkey King. We get to see him banned. Infamous, get rid of him. Uh, oh, may Ten seconds. Ping is maybe. not as big of an issue, by the way. I mean, if anyone was curious, for this series, Five we will be doing remaining. all three servers on U.S. East. Infamous uh, actually connect better to U.S. East than they do the South American servers. So now we can play, maybe can play Ping-friendly heroes, you know? Yeah, maybe... MK, Maybe. his band, though, Invoker, we saw last game, even though it was on high ping, he actually went ham on that hero. Uh, what I'm thinking, like, X gets a blade mail and Magnus casts Empower, so the harder he hits, the harder he returns. Dire team pick. You want to know a fun oh, fact? A fun little fact blown. here? Yeah. We have, I think it's, oh, we have three of the four Og Lodi race members in this draft. Do you know who they are? No. Aglodi. 
That would be Warlock, Easy. Axe, Time and Lifestealer. And the there's one hero, no, there's not. one red-faced hero that's not included in this draft. Dire team and pick. That is also Ogledy, and I'll tell you, it's Disruptor. I don't think he even oh, cared so. about lore of Dota. You don't know. Do you know? You don't know much about the lore of Dota. Dota one, we didn't care much about the. Dota well, I know. Much. I knew about lore in Dota one. They, they, oh, they you know the, war, the Warcraft, Warcraft lore. Remaining. Yes. Yeah, but then Dota lore Five came in, and they came up with remaining. some interesting new ideas and things. But they should make. Uh, you know, when we were like young playing Warcraft three, uh, all you wanted is for them to make a Warcraft movie. We got it, and imagine if people actually make a Dota movie. Wow. How, how good that would be, huh? Uh, it would probably be terrible. I don't know. We'll <laughs> see. I don't know. Is it live action? I hope so. That would be awesome. Uh, let's talk about some of the exciting picks that have come up here, aside from uh, disastrous movie ideas. Bounty Hunter comes out, which we never DC's get to see. To uh, but with Ricky being taken out, and I guess Monkey King, they're falling back on another option for Misery, uh, not Misery, what am I fucking saying? For Dubu to be able to kind of get a bit frisky. I say Dubu, but they've also been switching around Dubu a bit and giving Dubu a lot of the Warlock Ten heroes recently. So. Yeah, that, that's correct. The, the, even when uh, Jimmy was playing for DC, they also team had back. like Warlock. Uh, for Dubu, Warlock for Jimmy, depends what the other hero was. And plus they have uh, Bulba who recently shifted over to that support position too. And now it's going to be Bulba, Bounty Hunter probably, and Dubu on Warlock. I wonder Should if they're going to be swapping remaining. it around. Because like, let's say if Earth Spirit was a was actually a potent pickup Five for this team, remaining. I would imagine they're not going to get Bulba, the Earth Spirit, and they'll put Dubu on the Earth Spirit. So I imagine that Reserve with maybe time. certain pickups, we could see the two supports just being, you know, Interchanging with each other a bit. Oh uh, yeah, that's true. All uh, right, Puck. They have DC's a vehicle for life stealer right now, and uh, hmm. what does DC need? They they need a mid hero. Uh, mid hero to go against the Puck and be able to put in some work. Any hefty push. Ten seconds think remaining. About, like TA or something. Uh, it's banned. Oh, Five okay. Well, remaining. it would have been a great pick. <laughs> that's the ban. Well, that's why. That's why they banned it. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> is that how it works? <laughs> Duh. Uh, outside of that, I mean, DK. If you want to go heavy push again, we don't see Abed play it a whole lot. They actually didn't respect ban the Meepo, but I don't know if this is like a Meepo kind of a thing. Yeah, yeah I guess Meepo Magnus. I don't think it's a it's a Meepo Invoker. game, but uh, Invoker should be fine. Two straight Invoker games after going off about how we never get to see Invoker in this qualifier. Now we get blessed with two straight Invoker games, and I'm happy about that. How are you feeling about that? You happy? Yeah, it's always good to feel uh, to feel some sun strikes, uh, some good plays. Bounty Hunter can just uh, kill kill it out. Not much to kill this game solo with uh, Sunstrike help, maybe Rubik, but uh, that's pretty much it. Blink call Sunstrikes well, I, too. Yeah, there's a there's a lot of synergy here. With yeah, I, I didn't like uh, DC's lineup uh, until the last pick. Now now I favor it more. They have uh, good uh, initiation with Axe, good counter Ten initiation with Warlock, uh, good vision game with Wolves and uh, Bounty Hunter. Remaining. So, huh. well, but the heroes on infamous side are hard to take down. Like, uh, when Lycan can't really focus, uh, Puck can't focus Abaddon. When Alte is up, Lifestealer, he can man up and uh, man fight him. Yeah. Interesting lineup, though. On, on, on I was on just infamous. looking at that, too. I mean, what do you think about this Magnus Abaddon thing? Who's going where at the start of this game? You think it's gonna be a straight up jungle Magnus? Uh, might be, or uh, it could be a uh, like a support uh, connection failure. Oh says. no! Last time that happened, do you remember everybody DC'd out of the game? Yeah, it's happening with DC. Maybe uh, something with their routing. The routing? Oh yeah, I remember. Yeah, routing has been bad today. <laughs> All right, let's see. Is everyone going to be in the game or not? Please, don't be disconnected. 
Oh, yeah, everyone's in the game, but we're paused. <laughs> I think. All right. Seems like everyone is in. All right, thank goodness. Dota has been really... Something's been up. Have you seen all these updates that have been coming out? They're like... Yeah. Every... They're like spitting out all these updates. Like, I can't handle it. We have to keep remaking the lobbies, and... I don't know what's going on. It's like... I, I don't know. Has there been patch notes? I didn't even look if there's like some sort of game-breaking bug that was changed, or loophole in the matrix there was like a there patch was a, what was it? there was something go with uh, Sven stun when he uses stun the game crashes oh yeah i heard about that and i heard also that like the, the wards and the vision was like flying vision from towers i don't even know how this stuff happens i i feel for the heavy game coders over at valve because i imagine it's like a crazy tall stack of just jenga or domino cubes where they fix <laughs> one thing and then something else just like totally goes haywire but They'll continue to patch things out and try to get things as fair and as smooth as possible, I'd imagine, as we get into our second and final series of the day, DC versus Infamous. Who's going to go into the playoffs? We'll see if Infamous could lead things off with a good first initiation here. Oh, Dubu. Dubu's trying to hide within the trees, but does he have a spot to go to? Lanham Jr. is right there. Hits him over the telekinesis, throws it right back, and now it's a four-on-one. Dubu tries to juke. He gets shoved and skewered straight on back. The stun strike is off the mark. Orb to fly out. It's like a comedy of errors here as they still can't seem to get a hold of the little guy. Look at this. They can't get him. Get out of there, Dubu. Heal yourself. He's so, running. Okay, uh, heals himself. Oh. Oh, shit. After an incredibly long-winded chase, they will take the first blood. Hey, the nice thing for DC is that they could have gotten the first blood down here and then also taken the bounty rune. They will not get the bounty rune on top of it. Yeah, well, DC got uh, three bounty runes instead. That's good. Uh, that was a long-ass skewer from Magnus. <laughs> Uh, Steering were, away from the, his team. Yeah, he should just use it right away. Just minimum range after Rubik lifts just to slow him down. Well, they get the job done. I guess they'll be satisfied with that. And their laning phase shall begin. And it looks like it'll be a 2-1-2 setup coming out for DC on this one with the Warlock Axe pairing here. Already looked around the corner. There goes the early open wounds. Dibu will step in and... Dish out a Shadow Word to help with a little bit of heal. Are they going to change focus and go for the Warlock instead? Well, there goes another one of those skewers. As Suniko's going to just body check Dubu into the tree and slowly chase him down, poking him along the way. He will eat the tree, and as he turns back, he will be finished off. Two kills, two of them going to be on Dubu already, coming the way of Infamous. Well, pretty weird lanes, though, especially <laughs> with that. Uh, I mean, support Magnus is good. I was trying it out before. 7.0 patch came out uh, while I was coaching uh, Team Elements. Uh, we had few strategies, then uh, 7.0 struck, and uh, uh, we kind of didn't want to do it anymore. Uh, oh, I remember you telling bad. me about that during Dota Pit a little bit. Yes, yes. Well, I mean, it, it was really good. It's easier now in uh, 7.0 patches, but uh, it was still good back then. But do you know how it works? You try, lose two games, and you say it suck? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. You, you well, lose two games usually, and say it suck? Well, hold on. Yeah. Things about to suck real bad. Oh, I love that. Skewer combo after the telekinesis to shove Forev all the way back towards the tower, but they can't quite get him all the way under the tower. So he does get a friendly heal and be able to spin his way out to safety. And what the hell are you talking about? Two wins and suck? Oh, I'm sorry. I missed that. No, no, not wins. Two, two games. Just lose two games and then you think uh, the idea sucks. Oh, but, yeah, uh, yeah. No one's going to trust you also after that. If you, like, try it out on your team and they lose, trying to win their trust to attempt to do it again is, is probably even harder. Yeah, exactly. Well, uh, bottom lane, uh, let's check the CS. Uh, 7 CS against 12. Uh, well, Abaddon got the first blood, and he was going to get a lot of farm on that bottom lane, actually. He can't out-harass uh, Lycan, of course, with the uh, Feral Impulse, but uh, he will get a lot of levels and farm. That's what matters. Looking to make up for uh, a tougher bottom lane is going to be DC at the mid lane. <laughs> nice Sentry Ward will spot out the Junata hit, and it will be avoided there by Paparazzi Jr., who I do believe is Tim Mato, formerly of Team Freedom, formerly of other SA teams before that. Ooh, a trade of S of uh, Sentry Wards will be had in the mid lane. 
Misery gets the one down so he can feel a little bit more comfortable being able to roam about that mid lane a bit. Yeah, what's this Magnus gonna do right now? Okay, he has uh, Wind Lace, but uh, where does he go from that? Like, uh, what he can do is uh, try to stack some Ancients for Life Stealer and uh, a Baron, just buff him in the lane, but uh, he needs to do something el else, not just Leech XP from the Baron. Yeah, I don't know how much they're weighing on the Q combo of the Rubik, Telkinesis, and a Skewer back in that top lane. Uh, they're hoping for maybe a couple of kills with it, but uh, the setup is not as easy not as easy without the telekinesis and without some levels coming the way of Magus, Magnus right now, so he'll need some time. But uh, oh. he's going to keep him in check down here. How's our mid lane matchup doing, by the way? We have a Puck 19 and 4 to Invoker 17 and 6, so uh, nice lead in for Tomato already. Uh oh! I see a Rubik in trouble here. Goes for the TP and it gets canceled just like that. Forev will be able to get the last hit. And uh, DC will get themselves on the board with that. Yeah, not not much action. We, we have a Bounty Hunter who's level 3. Now he has more kill potential with the Shuriken Toss. Kind of hard to kill a Puck if he doesn't commit to like uh, Illusory Orb being aggressive, trying to last hit because he has no sentries left on the mid. But uh, there is Mag. Oh, Mag, you want to Mag. Hi, how's it going? Skewers right in from the trees, but they have the Ghost Walk, but he's prepared. He's got the dust ready to go, but they don't have enough damage to be able to get the finish onto Abed. They turn around looking to go for the Sun Strike, but it will be avoided. Thanks for the little bit of a disjoint right there. He does not go any further and get shot down. Close trades from both sides, and now a race for the regen rune. And uh, Magnus would love oh. to hold it out for the puck, and the puck will Regeneration. be able to pick it while the other side hits the shrine. Radiant's Everyone full HP. They can do the same thing. All right. Uh, there's uh, some big stacks in the forest. Not big stacks. There's one stack though. Puck trying to farm it. It'll take a little bit of extra time and love, but that is a good. Little boost there for the mid lane puck. Forev feels a lot more established now in the top lane. He's been able to build up enough levels to be more in control. Just kind of completely cuts the wave and takes it for himself. The Rubik is really not much of a threat, and they're also cutting it. So things are getting a bit more difficult, it would appear, in this top lane for Benjaz. Well, they did uh, their combo twice, lift into Skewer, but uh, what do they do from now on? I mean, I, this feels uh, like a game from yesterday uh, where there was uh, Nyx Assassin Dyer's and uh, who else? Some, some melee support. Tusk support, yeah. It feels like that kind of a game where the, these two heroes will pretty much not do anything Ooh. but feed. Lift, throwback, Sunstrike will be avoided, but the dunk will not. Rubik off with his head, but the spins continue to come out. Can Forev score a double? On the takedown to Benjaz, it doesn't look like it. He'll have to step back. He looks to go for the TP, but a skewer comes out from the Magnus from below and gets the cancel. He just keeps rushing out of the trees out of nowhere, <laughs> catching DC I'll by surprise. Well, this Magnus uh, <laughs> actually doing doing some really good stuff. He's in three out of three kills. It's pretty hype, I'm not going to lie. Oh, Ooh. eats a Sun Strike, but he gets the Shrine. Now they know there's probably either some detection, a ward nearby. They actually ping the high ground thinking that there's a ward there. So they're going to waste a sentry trying to take out a ward that actually doesn't exist. Instead, it was just simply misery walking around, bringing in the extra bit of information. Oh. He didn't manage to stack that camp. That, that That's a big camp. It already has one stack. So once uh, Nikes uh, goes into jungle, it's a level 2 M power right now. It's going to be good to have those stack stacks up he should he should have been stacking more though yeah but Him he wanted to go Rubik. skewer some some dudes you know skewering is more hype than stacking or anyone stacking okay forev is going to be able to work in the side jungle for now no straight vanguard build up for this axe he's going to go right for the blink dagger it looks like 900 gold already banked up for that well, they want to start a fight somehow, especially when you have Invoker with the team. You can pretty much go on anyone with that uh, fast blink. So, get blink some easy kills. And Sun Strikes yeah. will make anyone go down and crumble. 
Lots of pressure coming out from Infamous towards this bottom lane. Will force out an early rotation from Misery, but it's still a three on two. Now Ward going oh, down. We're gonna find Bounty. We're gonna see Misery walking in. Does he have a dust? They have a follow-up sentry if necessary. They will have the detection. The pullback's gonna be there. They just need a bit more damage. The skewer will help go for the finish. And uh, it is gonna be the Magnus who does pick it up. They do force out the borrowed time. And the shapeshift is gonna be traded for it, but uh, that will be the end of that. Oh, look at this, rotating over with a coil. Good setup coming in from Tomato. But uh, the shapeshift is still there and the move speed also continues. Yep, uh, again, Magnus with uh, Sentry, Magnus with a Dust, uh, just uh, securing all those kills for his team. Meanwhile, Top X uh, trying to get a hand on uh, Nikes, but uh, kind of hard to take down. He even gets uh, infused raindrops. Not sure why, though. It's only good against uh, Shuriken, and that's it. All right, we have more stackage happening here. Both ancient camps are being stacked up now for Infamous to be able to fall back on. Bullying continues here for Forever in the mid lane, and Misery inches closer to getting towards that level six and getting some track money online for his team. And a pressure. Did you just say Misery? I keep saying misery. I keep saying I keep thinking misery is the bounty hunter, and I don't know why. I mean, I know oh. why, probably because it was used to be on DC. But I'll try to fix that. Well, Bulba. Maybe if his name was Bulba, it'd be a bit more easier to know it was Bulba. I think that would help too. Yeah, or Harry Potter. Or Harry Potter. Even I. I even remembered that Harry Potter was Bulba. But what is Taiga Kagami? I'm calling him Taiga Kagami from now on. I don't know who no, Bulba also, is. I don't know who Bulba is. Uh, top lane, there's going to be action on top lane. Is there? Not yet. It looks like uh, the game senses are tingling a bit for DC. They have all this defensive vision laid out that they spot the possible rotation and will be playing things a touch more defensively. <laughs> So what Infamous uh, needs to do is just uh, get the uh, Blink Dagger on Puck. He wants to skip Midas um, because he wants to be as effective as possible. Kevin Knight's in a team so he can do some combos. Uh, oh. And uh, oh, what? No, just forever is just getting becoming a little bit of a spin lord there. Uh, almost looked like he was going to have an opportunity to get the jump on Benjaz after Benjaz already committed his ulti in that catapult, but. Yeah, blink up on X. Uh oh. Sunstrike there time go. Yep. Oh, boom. It takes about mm, two seconds for him to get that brand new blink dagger dirty. Very nice stuff. Oh, Ben will pick up the last hit. Ben Jazz goes oh, down. Oh, he's going on mid again. Look at this. Wow. Well played by Forever. Max efficiency there. Gets action done at the top, and they'll never suspect him to quickly show up at the mid lane, too. Forever all over the place, going coast to coast with the blink dagger. And Ori and shows up with 600 gold. <laughs> you don't expect uh, these uh, things to happen, like just get a kill on top lane and then immediately TP's on mid from Fog. And I mean, Puck even had a haste, so they locked him down with uh, Cold Snap and uh, level 3 or 4 or Cold, not sure. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Well, uh, we are going to be seeing the support Magnus now get closer to level 6, so it's going to be nice to have RP online, but, you know, this isn't a blinking Magnus. My so finding a good RP in this fight could be a bit trickier. He and doesn't need blink. He just picked up Radiant's an invis rune. Bottom tower is under attack. Oh, that's convenient. Getting that, oh, he's going to get that bounty rune, get level 6, and go to mid. They have center mid. Uh, Infamous has a center mid. So he oh, can get the good though. RP. He's oh already no. going bottom. He's not going to be there. Wrong way, bro. Radiant's Wrong way. The trouble's already at mid. Perev makes his move. There's another sun strike, and there's a dunk right there. Oh, yes. Rubik's going to be going down, and we'll call a pause as there's going to be just a little bit of lag apparently coming out on the side of Infamous. But yeah, how things could have changed if, for whatever reason, the Magnus had decided to take that Invis towards the mid lane. But not the case, and now DC have already made a, a good, strong start onto the mid lane. Hmm. Yeah, uh, well, oh, interesting build on Lycan. He goes back to 
few versions before, Vlad's... Uh, I'm wondering why maybe Invoker with the uh, four spirits and uh, some wolves, even if he wants to buy a necro book, they might actually try to go and uh, man up as five and just try to finish the game with it, like at 20 minute mark. Yeah, more high tempo as opposed to your fighting kind of a buildup. I, uh, I mean, with how much advantage they've already been putting onto the game, punishing bed jazz and such, I. Know, don't see how that could really be too big of a fall. The biggest snowballer is like 4 ev at the moment, getting that blink dagger and being able to put it to so much work already. Tier 1 is going to get dropped with little effort. And now they're stealing the stack! Oh, this is my offshore account for Infamous being completely gobbled up. So much free money. Wow. 13 minute uh, blink and... Uh, wow. Blink blade mail. Oh, this is gonna hurt a lot. Yeah. Misery. Uh, oh my god! If I say misery one more time, I'm gonna <laughs> fucking freak just, just... out. <laughs> <laughs> just uh, don't look at bounty hunter. That's it. Yeah, uh, fair enough. Radiant it looks like Evivis will be able to at least gobble attack. up the the remaining bits of their other ancient stack. Uh, but it takes the full party at attendance to be able to ensure that it's going to be taken care of here. A frisky infamous squad should be uh, happening right now, though. Putting use to this RP, finding some setup would be ideal, but, you know, we got some deep wardage coming out from DC that's going to spot any attempted early game rotations or even a smoke play if that's what they want to hope for. There's lots of control here for DC. Yeah, well, uh, it's really not a Rubik kind of a game, uh, especially when you have a Magnus as a second support, so you're struggling, but there's no any big spells to steal. You can steal uh, Rock, and you can steal Track, and uh, that's pretty much it. That's not bad. The rest is pretty useless. I mean, okay, you can try to steal Wolves, uh, Howl. Invoker I mean, spells, shapes. maybe a Deafening Blast. I don't know. Ooh, Blink Call onto Benjaz. Rubik steps in to help out. He's able to get off the telekinesis. But at the same moment, nice lead in comes out from Tomato, shuts down the Warlock before any sort of counter rock play will be there. He is finally able to get out the rock, but then the follow up is going to be there from Suniku Jr., able to connect with that nice RP, but Benj has already eaten so much power that he's going to be going down. It's now the move of Mason and Bulba as they're going to be able to get the surround. Hit him with a track, lots of damage there. Dyer's Almost catch him with a tornado, but uh, ultimately they will score the extra money. I'm not sure how much track money that was, but good swing for DC after what I thought was going to be a better start for this as, as things led in. Uh, it could have been a different because it's a good RP, nice and kept range there, and the didn't the armor was total far away. It could have been actually a different game. So, but Lycan decides to go for Armlet, and uh, what it seems to be, what is that? X here, yeah. Uh, I'm not sure Vlad uh, is that good on Lycan if you don't plan to go for a uh, Necro book, because usually Lycan before had different spells, uh, and now with uh, the actual region from Feral Impulse, uh, you don't need the and then you it's kind of a mana region item, but if you go for different kinds of build, like Echo Saber or just uh, Solar Crest, you yeah. just look at enough mana to sustain all those fights. He's been able to kind of show up uh, for the heart of the fight when we need to kind of bring all that damage, and now they feel suited to. Go back out on adventure here as they hit their smoke. Radiance is hot. Right, uh, the one that kind of set things up is still trailing behind a bit and letting off it lead up a charge, not under a smoke. As if the miss is scouting the rush. It is DC heading into the pit at this moment. And if this smoke up themselves, RP good to go. They pop out the dust to be safe. Now they're going to be sending in the orb to shape because they're coming out. They could get the silence out in time, but they are going to be able to pop the coil. Red jumps the back line is here. And now the fall of RP is going to be there and get a good connection and finish onto the light. And now Forever trying to be able to take it away. And Infamous are chasing. Bulba taps us a couple of times with a few units of track to help with the move speed, but they won't 
in a way. Attempted and rushed here from DC under that smoke. We'll get quickly more than infamous. Well, the DC can go back to Roche. Uh, there's no RP, there's no coil if they want to. And uh, the chaotic offering is ready for Warlock, which was not ready in the past fight. So yeah. if they want to make it go for it. Uh, while thinking about Infamous, uh, we didn't have to mention it. A bad with the Cannon Myers and has an upgrade for second relic. Uh, this is going to be like really, really big once he gets his radiance up and with the end power. This guy is just really going to do so much damage to those fights. Giving it 7 damage to DC are not ready for it. Sword has been having a pretty damn good game. He's trading top network overall with the Red and Poker. Give you an idea of how good it's going for this. Adam. We'll pull back. They'll be going to at the moment, so maybe not going to take too much of a fight. We'll uh, move in deep here. Got to be careful. There's a detection at the moment. And we could see him just to give it an earlier pick up of a gem. Give it to someone like the Adam. Yeah, that would be good. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Red is uh, trying to call his way out to the lane. Oh, oh, he's oh, 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 oh. not going to be able to make it out. Then he'll come here. It's going oh, for Infamous. Looking really good for Infamous is that uh, Radiance pick up. Um, the only need right now is uh, Mag uh, Link Dagger. He's getting close to it. I'm going to get it eventually. I mean, it's still Mag. You have like a support Mag right now. Uh, imagine that if you're using me, you have one more item uh, or all flame, but this way you have a bad item with some radiance and minus, yeah. And if you have an, an RP with a blink and dagger, we can play in five minutes. Pressure coming from him this year in the top lane, a couple of tracks will fly out, and that uh, seems to be enough for Infamous to pack up and take their business elsewhere here. DC kind of being able to attend it, it's a space to be created for other infamous members to continue their path to farm. The blink already done, the mine's already in hand, it looks like the bot is going to be going connected to an admin scepter for his top lane. That should be good, uh, just to lock him down, make him more of a mag, and add a nice to uh, deal as much damage as possible. And once they get the BTVs up for like and Boulder probably, at one point of the game, they well, like all the balls spotted out because of the open moves. And now he's being chucked apart from the bench as he got Taiga to God. See, ladies and gents, he gets the game up now 9 to 9 to win the It's been all in events for what feels like the past five minutes or so. So, the talents are bad, kind of weird talent build up. I mean, when you get uh, the level 10, that's why you have Midas, so you lose Midas and uh, get the, yeah, to that level 25. It's pretty much a no-brainer, especially when you have a mag in a team. You don't have, you don't need that extra damage, but uh, you need, you need levels. And uh, he also went from mana talent, which is see why, because of the uh, invoker, when he tries to remove his mana pool, that, that's a good one, but armor, yeah, the, the first one is really questionable, but the second one is good, I can see some sense in it. I don't think I ever actually saw a pattern going for a fight and damage. Uh, he'll bring his thoughts and this click or anything, but for now, he's it might be uh, happy to trade out the benefits of base oh, and initiation by talking to him. If jump in, there's going to be the rock committed, and there is going to be the coil as the fight doesn't break out. Here is an unplug replug. Yules is going to be up and right back down. Sword being shoved back, but still fighting under the borrowed time. Dubu is going to be taken apart next as he tries to run on back. And this was stolen track money, going to be acquired from Infamous on top of it. Three for two trade, still working out for the South American squad. Money, 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 money. This life stealer is gonna go like super big this game. Uh, two deaths, but. Uh, Desolator is finished on him with uh, Cleave. 
Yeah, we can expect like a six slot uh, by 30 minutes. Meteor goes down and they will get the pick. Oh, Boba, last second able to tag him with that track. Abed gets a nice grab onto the Abaddon. Yeah, sorry guys, uh, I noticed that uh, I, out of the corner of my eye, the, the, the robot thing came back. So apparently, Lacoste, we didn't fix the problem. And after four hours of time, we go robotic. Well, I've reset it, we should be fixed now. And uh, we'll move on with the game as it is gonna be DC securing the Roche. And it's gonna be Abed pocketing the Aegis here, trying to reaffirm their position in this game and they're not letting up one bit. The pacing continues as they pop the smoke and go back on the move. Yeah, there's no rock, but they still uh, want to fight. It's easy to fight with the axe uh, <coughs> uh, as an initiator. Oh, what did they found? Ooh, Bulba barely able to step back out, but they've jumped on further for a better talking into Ben Jazz. He heads out the other direction. Abed not able to quite catch him with the deafening blast, but they will take the Rubik instead. Now it's Sword in the mix, popping his blade mail in his borrowed time. He tries to trade it about Abedding a lot of the damage. Mason steps back and then goes back and hates real hard as they chunk right through the ABBA. He's gonna be going down on the low ground. Magnus looking to shove and skewer Fred back towards the base, but it is DC holding it out. As they say that though, Forever's gonna be forced back. Ben Jazz back in action, hit with a new track, hit up with the tornado, and he is done for. Out for 50 seconds, he will lose his three times kill streak, and DC will just reap in so much. We look over the fight cap, two. 0.4k their way, plus another 1k taken away from Infamous. The monster of a attack. fight. Yeah, DC didn't lose anyone. They just used the, the Aegis and uh, that's it. Uh, not not really a good place to fight for them. There was no RP. Uh, also Dyer's good initiation by Axe. And now they're able to take this opportunity to plant some wards down and just kind of take the infamous well jungle for their own as they pull off and can really bulk in the money now. It looks like Mason's going to be building into the BKB next uh, for his Lycan. And uh, Misery doing a four staff himself, so they're putting more value in some extra <laughs> defensive items. <laughs> oh, it's what? Misery again. <laughs> Did I say it again? Yeah. I'm like so triggered now, like everything is crumbling and burning around me. The sound is going to shit again for another day. I can't name players because players can't name themselves appropriately. It's just another wonderful day of Qualifier Dota, you know? Well, the, the problems are happening in the qualifiers so they don't uh, happen, happen in the land. at yeah. the event. Yeah. yeah, there you go. That's how you like to think about it. Uh, here, oh. they're going to be able to kind of fend off things here through the bottom lane as their tier 2 took a lot of uh, supple damage. But it looks like they'll be fine. Okay, uh, gem picked up uh, by Mag. So they want to get uh, clear the vision and get the hands on Bounty Hunter. Invoker, he goes for Ghost Walk. Yeah, sword chasing about where Abed is causing a bit of trouble, more just causing a lot of space for himself. And uh, allowing DC to kind of do their thing, what looks like through the bottom and the mid lane as being drawn out by Bulba at the moment. So this is still in their control. And uh, Bulba has, is he gonna plant that ward inside? Yes he is. They're preparing for what could possibly be a high ground push too. Feeling like this is a good timing for him. He's being spotted out. The BKB's not even done yet, but oh, forever. Forever. Forever makes his move. Jumping in. Call is not quite there. Hey, I'm having a terrible game. <laughs> I can't name anything uh, as they run on back out. But that will be the end of it. Just a very deep bit of intel going to be planted at this opportune time for DC as it's not the right window. Yeah, it looked really good for Infamous at one point, uh, but they need to hit uh, their spells correctly. They rely on, uh, still they rely on uh, Magnus RP, even though it's a position for Mag. But they don't have any BKBs and uh, Invoker being mobile with uh, Tornado. 
it's easy to counter that and with uh, especially with uh, chaotic offering being ready as well I wonder what uh, he's gonna go on uh, level 25 with invoker probably NATO cooldown or I mean both are good especially against mag Radiant or when rage is down is under attack. for just the, that extra disable Deep. I'm surprised they haven't planted any uh, just outside sentries, more of them. DC have been pretty fearless, kind of invading at the moment, taking even more farm away. If we just can't allow themselves to just continue to hang back and get starved out, eventually they're going to be sending in someone like Sword now to see what's going on here. Okay, now with the help of the Force Staff, they are going to be able to get the call in immediate borrowed time. is going to get triggered there from Sword. Now, Mason goes into Shapeshift and they're ready to take a fight. They're going to wait out the Blade Mail. early Blade Mail. They're going to wait it as best as they can and now they'll look to make their move. A Tornado also connecting with the Sun Truck should help them get the finish and it will. Now moving on to Benjaz who's already popped his Rage. There goes the Rock, the Coil on top of it. Mason chops his way right on through the Buck. And DC... Pledge the fight, it looks like here, with a final finish there. Taking out the mag, the Rubik will also drop. This looks to be an easy tier two, and an assault on the high ground coming up. Yeah, good kiting around that Abaddon. He's a Abaddon kind of getting out of position and uh, being too cocky with uh, all that um, farm he has. Pretty much he, thinks, he thinks he's unkillable, but he just cancels uh, his borrowed time with uh, NATO. Also, premature blade mail pop. Jump and Lycan just all the way deep. And oh. that could have just ended the game. That hard dive from Ferev just puts the lifestealer back six feet under, and any hopes of him being here for defense were just absolutely taken away. Like that, Ferev with a monster axe game. And now that secures the mid lane set of racks. Let's see what kind of hurrah like they can infamous to pull out here. Dyer's top tower is under Dyer's attack. Top tower has it doesn't look like much. As the rotation comes in from Sword, he finds himself already trapped within an upheaval and an ice wall. And he's just stuck in molasses. He can't go anywhere. Forced to pop his borrowed time. They've already made moves for following targets as it's going to be a turnaround trigger of the coil. Forev finally gets finished off with the rift coming through, but it's still all Mason here. Mason and Abed kind of clean in house. Step back, finish from Abed, cleans up the puck too, and they have had enough. This game is over. It's going to be DC who take it. Dyer's top barracks are under attack. Wow, at one point, uh, it's a really was looking promising for Infamous. Uh, that, that initiation from Puck, it looked really good uh, at Tier 3 Tower, but there was no uh, nothing to follow up. Uh, there was no Nikes. Uh, it was good RP, but pretty much uh, that's it. And uh, for DC, uh, they had uh, kind of a struggle early game, but Axe, uh, with his insane play, that the early blink dagger, Sunstrike combos, Top kill, mid kill, yeah. uh, got them back into the game. The blade mail also ravaged Nike so hard. Plus a bad, I mean, bad is classic. A bad didn't die at all. 10-0. His invoker's really something special and a, a pretty nutty performance overall. You know, Infamous had some interesting ideas to kind of go about this game. Uh, it, they